Kevin Ayer's latest arrest last month for allegedly entering a woman's room at an assisted living facility in Anderson Township and watching her while she slept. But this is far from his first rodeo. Two years ago, Ayers got a 30-day sentence in Butler County after he was caught on a surveillance camera looking into windows in Liberty Township. And there were other charges, six non-contact sexual offenses dating back to 2012. In Ohio, the punishment for voyeurism is capped at 90 days. If the victim is a minor, it can be a felony. Ayers has only been jailed for crimes involving adults and has gone through treatment. Let's say someone reoffends six, seven, eight, nine times. Is this person fixable? I would tell you that they are. Scott McVeigh runs River City Correctional Center, where sexual offenders, among others, get treatment so they will not reoffend. 55 sessions over six months. Of how did I put myself in this situation? How do I avoid these situations? What triggers me? And then setting goals to avoid those in the future. So when a person is discharged from one of these intense programs, do you expect not to see them again? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we expect not to. Um, that doesn't mean that we won't. Um, people will reoffend. But not as many as you may think. While common thought is that sexual offenders reoffend more than most and escalate their behavior, studies have shown only 25% of non-contact sexual offenders reoffend and only 5 to 10% of them escalate to contact sexual offending. Still, for those who do, State Representative Cecil Thomas says there should be a law. What are your thoughts on someone who gets repeatedly arrested for basically the same misdemeanor? Clearly, the system is failing uh, the people. So what can you do to fix it? If the sentencing structure uh, is not having the impact, which is obviously it's not, then we may start to maybe want to look at increasing the uh, penalty for that kind of, of offense. Is this something that you would consider sponsoring some legislation for? Well, absolutely. Now that you've brought it to my attention, I am very concerned. And we will, of course, follow up with Representative Thomas to see if he does, in fact, pursue a bill that would increase penalties for repeat non-contact sexual offenses. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.